you know, the time of, of, of the church, those early centuries of the church, are not unlike the time we face today. In those times, there were political, uh, cultural powers that were against the church, opposed to the church. If we study American history, there have been different moments where we've had that in American history. If we study world history, we see political powers and military powers and cultural powers rising up all the time against the church. I think it was G.K. Chesterton who said he became Catholic because it was the only institution that kept on outlasting all the governments that overcame, uh, that triumphed over it. it. It just outlasted them all. You know, the, the, this government came against it, and it looked like that government won, and then the, that government went away, and the church was still there. Well, um, in many ways, when we hear stories about Christians being buried alive, or uh, Christians uh, 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 being at risk to have their heads cut off because they will not renounce their faith. When we hear about our brothers and sisters whose whole villages are being completely exterminated. We live in such times today. Such times call for great courage. The, the Lord asks of you great courage. Even more, the Lord asks of our children great courage. Our culture is not nice to kids. We live in a culture where um, uh, uh, discussion of God and religion, uh, especially organized religion, is, you know, something very difficult. Now, there's a way in which that's always been the case. I mean, do you remember second grade and, you know, <laughs> having to explain why you uh, can't have a hamburger on Fridays or whatever, you know? You know, there, there, were, there were things that came up in our lives, but today it's, it's all the more. Culture has moved away from Christianity a little bit more. Now, our young people are, are dealing with that, but they're also dealing with other things too. We, we have a, a culture of death all around us, and, and our young people, um, they're dealing with friends who, have, uh, who are dealing with suicidal thoughts and cutting themselves and drug addictions and sexual addictions. It's a very, very serious time in our culture. Looking at how the, the, the Christians, the early Christians, experienced the sacraments, understood the sacraments, sacraments that converted divine life, that gave them courage in the midst of very difficult situations, circumstances, that allowed them to stand when everybody else was running, that uh, allowed them to uh, not renounce the faith when everyone around them uh, was persecuting them and trying to push them another way. 